Hi, this is Robin Bell from South Texas College, and this is in reference to a help question that I posed um, yesterday, and uh, Ryan fielded, fielded it, and so Ryan, if this is coming to you, I just wanted to thank you so much for all your help, but we still have a few more questions that I'm hoping somebody can help us with. So what I was trying to do is I made a uh, discussion thread, it's a little extra credit something, and I wanted to test out using uh, the VidGrid tool from the student perspective, uh, and so I offered some extra credit for students to do that. So I've posted that there, and we have figured out that, you know, there are some extra steps that Chromebooks ne users need to make. And so I posted the instructions here, and I also posted, I created a PDF out of your um, article that's on your help uh, website about what Chromebook users need to do in order to be able to post to VidGrid. And uh, Ryan, you helped out as well, kind of explaining what we need to do. We did figure out a couple of things, or at least we think uh, that we did. And uh, it does seem we do need to download the Chrome extension, follow the instructions on that uh, video. But then you have to come back into VidGrid and click on the reply button here. And I'll just go ahead and click on that, you know, obviously so that you can bring up the text editor and then click up on click on mashups and then on VidGrid. And this is what the students did to create their video. And once they followed the instructions that uh, Ryan gave us, you know, they were able to go in. VidGrid worked great and they made their videos. The problem is coming now in that they can't seem to post their videos where they show. So let me go ahead and cancel this and I'm going to show you. This is a student who just made a video and um, I'm going to go in here and since I have you know editing privileges I'm going to show you that she did post something but it's not viewing here. It's not showing. So click the edit and let's wait for it. Okay so here we can see, you can see the white box that something has embedded. Um, so you can see that. And another student I had said the same thing, that a white box embeds. And at first I thought it was because they had not clicked submit. And I told them, click submit, and the video should show once you do that. Well, clearly this student has done that. And the whole thing is blank. It looks like she didn't do anything at all. Now the other student that I had, um, let me go ahead and navigate to um, that class. So let me go over here and I'll show you what he did. And I showed him another method to embed it. And so he actually made the video in VidGrid, um, but I showed him a different method when he was using a different screencast tool. Uh, because since he initially couldn't figure out how to get VidGrid to work, he used a different one. And then I showed him how to embed that one. But he ended up using VidGrid to make this video. And then he saved that video to his YouTube channel. And then I showed him how to embed it here. But my question to you is, what is it that we're doing wrong? Or what is it that we need to do in order to get VidGrid videos to embed in the discussion tool using the mashup tool, which is what the kids used to create the vid grid. We got that to work great, but it's not going to do us, uh, you know, as much good uh, if nobody can see their posts. Again, this one is one that was posted from uh, or uploaded to a YouTube channel and then embedded here. And the blank one that you just saw was created in vid grid and the student attempted to um, embed in vid grid using the mashup tool in uh, in the discussion tool in uh, Blackboard. So any help that you could uh, provide or guidance about what we might be doing wrong or what workarounds we might need to use, um, we would certainly greatly appreciate it. And I would also like to give a very big thank you to uh, Ryan with the excellent customer service and the quick reply. I totally I wasn't uh, expecting a reply when I sent the message and it was a real lifesaver because it allowed us to kind of continue working and playing with this and we got to this point where the student was able to post using a different method. But again, thank you and I hope to hear from you soon.